those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Okay, this is covering the rudder. All right, fin, rudder actually. Okay, I've done one side, but I'll come to that in a minute. So obviously you cut it piece to size. Right, and I've got it on a flat base there. So it's basically more or less the same as everything else, but you just run the iron around the edges. Okay, so you know where it is. Then rulers are just there to stop, because this is quite curvy, this covering is. So you just get around the edges like so. Once you tracked it, that's the word, isn't it? Tracking. So you just get tracked, that's nice. Okay, so you go there. And I might actually repeat this exactly the same the other side. The first side's easier than the second, but well I don't know actually that's because it is. So, so you've got it edged now, right? right. So you get it. Now you find the bit of the main frame of the with a rather and then you just eye around it. All the edges are tacked that way. Okay, you can do the edges here. That's basically it. So, so far, so good, eh? So, you see the track, it doesn't matter. Well, it's tracked now, it's basically you know, just run your fingers across it just to make sure everywhere is covered. See, right so. Is that in the camera? I forgot to look at the bloody camera. Right, so. Yeah. And I'll apologise if the if you can't see too well on there, but it's there. Right, so you've got it there, there's your track. Alright. So you've got the edges now. Let's turn it the wrong way. Turn it round, see? Just. Right. So what I do is, is I look at the edges, so I mean roughly I go around, see the width for the rudder, go inside it about to measure itself, but with a sharp blade would be a good idea. So you go. Nicely round the edge, like so. Give yourself a little width. So this is four mil thick, this rudder. So I, I'm more or less cutting it roughly to the three mil, four mil. I know I'm in the front of the camera, I'm sorry. But you just have to be. It doesn't matter if you go a bit wide, because basically you can trim it. Am I still in it? This is where it pays to have a really sharp blade. I might add, when you're doing this on your own, if you, I mean, it might help, it might pay to have some music you like listening to, you know, because it does help, takes your mind off of panicking about, oh my god, it's up to you, but you know, that's what I do normally. Right, so, we have it like that, so you've got your excess, and because your hinges are there, you just trim it with a blade underneath the hinge one. Okay, so 
Now you've already come inside, so you just trim that away. Same with that one. So you've got a nice trim, see, so that's all there. Right, so the next step is, is if I can keep it in the camera, right and just follow it around with the iron. Just keep following it around because it's creased. It doesn't matter if it creases. Right. Now I'm going to come to my golden rule in a minute, because there is a golden rule. Believe me. It's my rule, but I, don't, I suppose people, other builders and that covers will say different, but it's to me. I'll put it in a sec. Right. So, as in all things, when my finger is there, I've put a piece in there, in the corner, so that you don't see any wood. Like you do in all things, like on the wings and everything. Every bit's got a uh, 90 degree angle where you put a piece in, so that it doesn't show the wood. Okay? So, once we're still in the camera, I think we're in the camera. Oh. See it? See, uh, I still haven't told you my golden rule yet, but I will do. Right, a little mini iron, that's what I want for next Christmas. A mini iron. Hold it over. Just catch the edge. And with the hinges, you just keep it on there. Move it into the hinge, like so. See? That's why I like the hinges on. It's easier to cover. You always trim it. See that one needs to trim it. Sharp blade. Just trim it, like so. If you get your finger in there. Just go around it and uh, make sure it's all sealed in the edges, like so. Now my golden rule. This is my golden rule. Other people are going to say, yeah, it's a lot of rubbish, but well, to me it ain't. So, I will specify this because I found it's a proven thing for me. When you're covering it, because it's a fin, right, especially if it was a solid piece of uh, balsa, Okay, what I always do is say you're doing this is just to one side you've done first. Okay, I always do just what I showed you. Go around, do the edges right of the, the rim of the actual frame of the rudder. And tack it all down nice, right? All round. Seal it at the sides that I was just showing you. Okay, but my golden rule is never, right? Other people say as soon as they've done it, they want to like shrink this so it's nice and tight. Well, I find that if you do that, you run, run the risk of warping the... The, the rudder or warping anything really, wings included. So you see it's nice and flat now, right? So now you've done that and you do the same on the other side. It holds it all in one place if that makes sense. Okay, that's my little golden rule. So now you can either run an iron over it, which I tend to do in little things like this. Just run the iron over it quickly. Okay, right around the whole surface. Right, let it go. Do the same on the other side quickly. Just lightly for now. Okay. You, go. you don't want it to walk. See, it's still flat. Nice and flat. Right. Okay. I tend to swap over now and again. Like so. And that's what I mean. No warp. See? Perfect. Okay. But that's what I mean. So, just to reiterate, when you're covering it, you put sheet over, do the edges. Get them onto the frame of the, the, the fin or whatever you're covering. Same with the wings, that'll be the same with these when it comes to the rudder, uh, the ailer, uh, elevators in the fin, tail section. Same with that corner there, uh, my finger is. You put your 40, 90 degrees, so you put a bit of covering in there, okay, either side, so you know that you're not going to see any wood showing. It's the same rule every way around. And the same rule applies for this. Just go around the edges of it all, okay. Uh, and then 
repeat what I've just done on there. So there's no point doing a video of this because it's more or less exactly the same as what that is. Hence the reason why I did it. Okay, that's the general rule of thumb I use for covering because basically it seems to work for me. So I hope that helps, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there you have it. Nice. Okay, ready to go. Okay. I mean, I don't think this, look at it, leave it for a bit and then look at it again because you tend, you might think it's all lovely and then you see a few wrinkles. It's like anything. And then see, it's lovely, it's lovely now. Okay, so that, my friends, is that. Those magnificent men.